So, I love the videos. In fact, I'm obsessed with them on YouTube where vegans show us their fridges and their pantries because it gives you some really great ideas. So, I thought I would share my fridge and pantry with you. Uh, so, here we go. Um, here's the fridge. Um, things that really stand out are this Earth Balance vegan butter spread. I love it. Um, we keep garlic, ginger in here. The Sarasa we get at Trader Joe's, which is phenomenal. Um, mix it in with some tahini. It's a great oil-free dressing. Um, condiments, nothing exciting here. Um, and then, of course, we have nut butters. Um, most of these we get from Trader Joe's. And we have all of our milk alternatives. Um, this is a cheat. I don't have a juicer. So I use this and mix it in with protein powder to make my protein shakes. Um, I know it's not the best option and I should really juice, and, but that's on my list. Um, we have our little bar, or excuse me, our little drawer of power bars. Um, we love these Laura bars because most of them are three ingredients or less. Uh, we have, oh, this is my favorite Trader Joe's product of all times. If you have a Trader Joe's and you love sauerkraut, get this. It's also economical, super healthy, and you'll be hooked just like me. And I think we have some veggie, the vegan veggie slices, or shredded cheese, I should say. Uh, be careful because there are some that are not vegan. Uh, we have some tempeh, uh, some soy sausages, some coconut milk sour cream. Uh, here's all our produce. A uh, bunch more produce. I think that's just all full of kale and cabbage. Uh, in the freezer, uh, this is all of our pre-made stuff. Uh, I try not to eat too much of this stuff, but you know, you're working, it's a late night. Uh, these we get at, uh, I believe it is, let me think on this. But anyway, these are phenomenal. Um, sprouts, we get these at Sprouts. They're terrific, there's some different veggie burgers. Uh, there's my dog in the background. Uh, we got some Trader Joe's meatless breakfast patties. Uh, a bunch of different produce. Um, this, I really shouldn't show you this drawer, but this is kind of, you know, my cheat drawer. So I have these soy creamers. Got a dairy-free chocolate cheesecake, some soy ice cream. Uh, we got a bunch of vegan frozen dinners back there, mainly Amy's products, uh, produce, and then this is another vegan trick. I don't buy fresh berries, I just buy organic fruit for my shakes, so pineapple, raspberries, blueberries, and some mango. That's pretty much it. Um, we'll check out the pantry. Maybe I should turn on the light. I probably should have done this before I started this. All right, so in the pantry, um, up top, we have all of the cereals. Um, I usually do oatmeal more than anything. Diane likes the cereals a little more than I do, but I do love this. Um, and I actually can get this at Winco for like $3, where it's like $6.99 at the regular grocery store. No offense to Winco, you are a regular grocery store. But you get my, you catch my point here. And a bunch of different canned products. I do try to buy organic canned products whenever possible. Doesn't always work that way. Um, but I have black beans here. Um, there's some kidney beans here. Garbanzo beans. This is all the tomato. We go through a ton of diced tomatoes. Uh, all the coconut milks. Some enchilada sauce and different toppings back there. Um, some spaghetti sauces. And then back here, got some veggie broth. Three different kinds of rice. I always have brown rice, wild rice, and white rice. Some peanut butters that don't need refrigerated. This stuff I'm obsessed with. Um, I put this in protein shakes. I put it put it in my oatmeal. It's PB2. It's ground up peanuts. Um, if you're looking to cut calories, you can see right there, 85% less fat in calories. I got a bunch of organic grain or gluten-free pastas back here. Uh, I'll just show you one of these. This is from Trader Joe's. This is the best place to buy this stuff. At the grocery store, you're talking, you know, four to five dollars, and the serving sizes, 
I believe they say they're around five to six. These are, are serve eight like a conventional box of pasta. And in general rule about maybe two to three dollars. So go to Trader Joe's. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, you could probably order these online. Highly, highly recommend Trader Joe's for all of your gluten-free products. Or if you're not worried about gluten, you know, obviously you don't have to worry about it, but you can get organic pasta there that's much cheaper. Uh, this is a guilty pleasure. I don't eat this very often, but I always keep a box at hand. It keeps me from binging when I've had a bad day. Uh, this is also Trader Joe's product. I love this. Uh, quinoa, again, usually it's pretty expensive at the grocery store, maybe $6.99. This is, this is quinoa, it's tricolor and organic, and I think I paid like $3.99 at Trader Joe's. Uh, another one of my favorites, pasta made from chickpeas. The protein on this stuff is unbelievable. 25 grams of protein, 13 grams of fiber. I buy this at Sprouts. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could get it at any health food store or possibly any organic section of your conventional supermarket. Love this stuff. It's creamy, it's delicious. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, lentils. Oh, I love lentils. We eat lentils for days here. Um, the good thing about them is you don't have to soak them overnight. You can go right from the bag uh, to preparation to cooking in usually anywhere from like 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, couscous. Got a lot of different sauces back here. That's pretty much it. Um, this is the snack. An alcohol idol, uh, excuse me, alcohol shelf. Um, hopefully that alcohol is vegan. We bought that before we became vegans. I seldom drink because um, quite frankly I just don't tolerate it very well. But it's back there. Um, I'm not ashamed of it, um, but I hope it's vegan. I do need to check it out one day. And then all these snacks, and this is where we keep like all our nuts. Um, we love these. These are great on salads. I try to eat something raw with every meal. Um, so even a salad, I try to put something uh, like sunflower seeds on it. Gives a little extra protein. And we some pine nuts, um, walnuts, which I love. Um, I don't know if anyone has tried walnut meat, but you just grind some walnuts up in a food processor with some soy sauce and some paprika, and it's terrific on. Uh, I love it on tacos actually. And I think that's it. We probably have some potatoes back there. It's probably hard to see back there. The lighting's not the best. Um, I usually keep sweet potatoes and white potatoes here. And then down here is all of our flowers. Um, and this is nutritional yeast, uh, which is phenomenal. Um, I use this predominantly in place of like cheese. So uh, I have like a nacho cheese sauce that I make with this. It's really, really good and super healthy. And then we have a bunch of different protein powders. Um, we just bought this at Costco. I haven't tried it yet. This is the protein powder that I actually prefer. Um, if you check it out, it's high in protein, it's non-GMO. And you can see the sugar content there, zero. And the only other thing I wanted to kind of call out here was flaxseed. Uh, you should be using flaxseed. It's really important for your diet. Uh, you can put it in your oatmeal. Uh, I use it a lot in my protein shakes, uh, as well as chia seeds, uh, also great in oatmeal or, or I should say, and your protein shake. One thing we're missing from here that I really need to get are hemp seeds. I read they're really, really high in protein and really an essential for a vegan diets. So that's my tour. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.